Brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back to Healthy Living. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCD, is considered an anxiety disorder as people affected by this mental illness experience severe anxiety as the result of obsessive thoughts. Often extensive rituals are undertaken in an attempt to reduce the anxiety caused by obsessions. Joining me now with more on this topic is, is Express Care's Dr. Yika Lam. Welcome back. Hi, Hi. Okay, so can you share with us what exactly is OCD? Okay. Um, obsessive compulsive disorder, meaning you have obsessions and compulsions, meaning you have to do whatever it is, You're, you, you must do it, you can't stop yourself. Okay, what is OCD not? It's not when you're a neat freak and you have to have everything neat and tidy at home. Like people say, oh, I'm, I have OCD because, you know, I have to have my desk all organized nicely and, and I have to make sure the kitchen's very clean. That is not OCD. That's you're very detail-oriented and very clean. But OCD is a mental illness. It causes tremendous distress and disability to the people that have it. Um, most of the time they do require medication because of this of these intrusive thoughts they have. So, you know, you'll be going along, thinking your thing, doing your thing, whatever it is, and suddenly there'll be a thought that goes in there and you cannot eliminate it. And, and that thought is you know, something from go wash your hands to did you turn off the light? Go back and see if you turn it off. Did you turn it off? You say you have to go back and, and, and make sure because you're very, you feel extremely anxious. Did I, did I turn the lights off? Did, maybe I didn't and go back and, ch and check. So this is how they get into their checking behaviors, the rituals that people do, like you mentioned, of, of uh, having to do things in a very specific way, which none of which makes any sense to an out outsider. It doesn't make logical sense. You know you've shut the light off and just, like, keep on going, but this is not something that they can control. It's uh, a disease that um, is based in a, in a chemical imbalance in the brain. Um, they're not able to snap out of it. They're not able to rationalize out of it most of the time. Um, it creates tremendous disability. Okay, so how common is it? O OCD is very common. It's one of the most common anxiety disorders. Um, uh, I couldn't give you a statistic, but uh, it affects people as young, young as in childhood, um, uh, teenagers, and all the way up. Usually by, by the time somebody's a teenager, they have some strong features of it. Okay, so is OCD a learned behavior or disorder? No, it's not at all. It's not, that's why um, it, it's, it's something that somebody is, uh, they have a chemical imbalance in their brain, which is most likely genetic. There are some environmental things that may affect it. Stressors will make it worse. If there's more pressure, more, um, you know, more overall anxiety in the person's life, it's going to be much worse. But it's not something that is uh, um, learned or, um, you know, that they're doing it intentionally. Okay, so how is, how is a person diagnosed with OCD? Right, so there's a big book called the dsm 4 that is the big manual of psychiatry, and um, um, what, what they have actually criteria, okay? So um, this many intrusive thoughts per day affecting your um, daily functioning, so you are impaired in certain areas of your work or your social functioning, compulsions where, where you have certain behaviors that you have to do, for example, washing your hands all the time or, or um, checking behaviors like we talked about to make sure you know, that, that whatever you've, you've, um, you've turned whatever off or those type of things. Um, unusual um, sorting behaviors, needing to uh, put things in their place, which is a little bit more than uh, you know, normal let's put it that way. So there's a list of criteria. Usually people will come to the doctor with OCD when it's impairing their life. They're like, I can't leave the house in the morning because I had to go check that they turned off the stove 25 times before I was able to leave, leave the home and I was late for work. Those type of things. Or because of the, because this does create so much anxiety and people have, um, you know, it like burns battery power for them. They're thinking about these irrelevant small details um, uses up battery power, makes them very tired, makes them feel depressed often. So there's often a diagnosis uh, goes together, anxiety and with a depression component. Okay, now you mentioned anxiety and depression. What other symptoms um, can point in the direction of, okay, I have OCD? Mm. Sometimes withdrawal because um, rather than um, having to face, uh, you know, let's say, uh, 
more challenging situations, the person will just make their life very small, very um, controllable because everything else is so so difficult for them when they're outside. So withdrawal. Um, other symptoms might be. Um, um, well, they're, they're really mostly thoughts that are causing the problem. So um, recurrent intrusive thoughts, uh, vengefulness can be, can be one, or a person's obsessed with, um, with, with uh, you know, who's, who's, who's thinking what about them and how they should retaliate and what they should do. This can be actually a sign of OCD, that they're not able to let it go, they're not able to release slights, perceived um, injuries to them. Okay, so what types of treatments are available to those who are OCD? Um, actually, medication is an excellent um, choice for OCD. Um, if you've ever tried to talk, talk somebody with OCD out of their behavior, you'll find that that is pretty much impossible. Um, we, we, they can do some kinds of therapy which are be aimed at behaviors, and um, the problem with that is sometimes people will substitute one behavior for another. So to relieve their anxiety, instead of doing this one thing all the time, they'll do another thing. Uh, so that, that's, that's a problem, but generally medication works very well with few side effects and they're able to live a normal life. All right, thank you, Dad. You're welcome. All right, so stick around because when we return, we take your questions. You're watching Healthy Living.